everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing curl formers. If you guys haven't heard of this, it's basically the revamp of traditional curlers. So they come in three different styles. You can get it in a corkscrew curl, a spiral curl, or a barrel curl. Corkscrew curl is gonna be the tightest and then barrel is gonna be that loose beachy wave kind of curl. This is $73 and you can get it off of Amazon. I decided to get a spiral curl because I didn't want Shirley Temple curls and then my hair cannot hold a curl to save its life. So I didn't think the barrel curl was gonna do anything for me at that point. They come in different lengths as well. So you can get it in short, long, extra long, or super long. If you go to their website or even Amazon, it tells you the length of each one so you can kind of decide which one would work better for your hair. I decided to get super long because, well, my hair is super long. So it comes with 20 clockwise curls and counterclockwise curls. So you can curl it away from your face or towards your face to your choosing. I'm going to show you how to put them in today and as well as take them out. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is get our hair wet. You want it to be semi-wet, so more damp, but not dry or else it won't curl. Next, we're gonna use a clip and separate our hair into sections. Now we are going to use the curl former wand to apply the curlers. There is a hook on one end that we'll use to grab your hair. When grabbing the hair, you want the hook to face up. Grab one of your curlers and make sure it's the kind of curl that you want for this side of your hair. Then we are going to grab the end of the curler and pinch it so that it looks more like a circle rather than an oval. And now slide the curler onto the wand. Next, you grab a small section of your hair for the curler. Note, if the section of the hair is too big, your hair could get caught in the middle of the curler and you'll have to restart that piece. Remember to have the hook on the tool facing up. Now put that small section of hair into the hook and slide your hook closest to your head. Once you have it closest to your head, you're going to pinch the end of the curler here near your head and pull the curler towards your head while pulling the wand away from your head. Your hair that is in the hook will easily pull through the curler. Now you'll want to adjust the curler as I do here so that it will curl properly. Now repeat that for the rest of that side of your head. Remember, you only have 20 curlers for each side of your head, so don't make your sections too small or you'll run out of curlers. Once you finish the side of the head, switch to the other. Use the other kind of curler. Note that I use the curlers to curl away from my face. Okay, after you're done stringing your hair through all of these, this does take quite a bit of while before it will dry. They recommend either you sleeping in it or they created this nifty little item. It's a plug-in for your hair dryer. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a salon and they make you sit under the little hair dryer thing and you just get to sit there until your hair is done. So you take this and your hair dryer, fits right over the mouth. And then, so you'll take this, which is the headpiece, and you'll put it over your hair, and then it tightens right here like a little drawstring. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to get your hair into this. I usually like going upside down with all my hair, because it's easier to get it into a bag that way. Take the drawstring on this, and you tighten it up. <laughs> Here's your weird hair. Oops. You're just gonna turn your blow dryer on to the lowest heat setting. Okay, now after 20 minutes of waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna take it out. And so how you're gonna take it out is you're gonna take this part right here and you're gonna pinch it like you did before. You're gonna straighten this out and then you're just gonna pull it out. This is how it turns out. See from the side and the back. So this is what a spiral curl from the curl formers look like. Obviously this is super tight and you can always brush it out to get a more beach wave kind of look. 
Like I said before, my hair does not hold a curl, so this will look definitely different tomorrow, and I will post pictures from today versus tomorrow. I left my house for just two hours after filming the first part of this video, and my hair is already falling out of these curls, just to show you guys, like, it does get looser. It's not going to be continuously tight as when you first take it out. It will fall out, no doubt. Overall, I would give the Curl Farmers a rating of a 3.5, just because the purpose I bought them for basically was it just didn't work. So the reason I bought them was for time. So I thought I could just put these in at night and then I'd be able to sleep in them and then I'd wake up the next morning and I'd have curls in my hair. Unfortunately, the one night I did that, I could not sleep. These were completely uncomfortable to sleep in. I was restless the whole entire night. The other reason I bought it was because it claims for no heat. But if I can't wear them to bed, then I have to wait all day because they take so long to dry. So then I bought this, which kind of defeated the purpose of the no heat. Also, when I was putting it in my hair, it took me an hour to do by myself just to put it into my hair, and then another half an hour for it to dry. Also, when I was putting it in my hair, I had strands of hair just falling out just because the way it was designed for you to slip your hair through the little tube, it was yanking parts of my hair out. So all over my lap, I ended up with strands of hair, not just from falling out, but being torn out by this product. And when I was taking them out, it was also tearing my hairs out because if you didn't quite get the clasp on it, it was going to rip your hair out. So I ripped my hair out, it takes way too long. I mean, it does its purpose, obviously, for people who have stick straight hair like me, this does get you a curl and it will last for at least a day or two rather than just lasting for a few hours. So I would recommend it for people who have issues with curling irons filling your hair. Other than that, use a curling iron. Honestly, it does the same thing. You can get the same results. I'm going to be putting the link in the description if you guys want to try this out yourself. You guys can get it from curlformers.com or Amazon. I'm going to be trying to post twice a week for just random products you guys either recommend or that I just want to try. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about curlformers, feel free to comment down below. And thank you guys for watching.